Okay, so today I'm gonna let you guys know I'm not doing any more fast fashion videos. I did a video recently talking about mental health in Lolita and a big area that also gets overlooked that is a mental health concern is getting addicted to shopping. If you also struggle with these things, um, I'd love to hear about what you do. If you could leave me a comment, drop me a comment down below. And if you like this video, make sure you just hit that like button. It helps support the channel. Um, I also have links to um, other things you can go check out uh, on my main channel page. <laughs> Personally, that's what got me really started in Lolita fashion. I could not afford the beautiful, wonderful dresses that I saw from Angelic Pretty and Baby the Star Fan Break. Because at the time, you could not get the stuff you can get now on Taobao or My Lolita Dress as easily as you could then. In fact, half those places weren't even reputable. You didn't know what you were going to get quality-wise. So, you know, I, being a shopaholic, I just still had to get it. I had to get get those things. And and I brought it onto this channel, and, and I did it for, for fun because it's pretty harmless, you know? I, I got some cute stuff I wanted to show it off. But lately, like, I, I did an AliExpress haul, or I was going to do a video. I, I bought a bunch of stuff from AliExpress, and I found myself, as I was shopping for the items, using the excuse to spend the money so I could make a haul video. And I can't even do it with a clear conscience. Like, I didn't feel good about it because, I mean, I've watched haul videos myself and while they're entertaining yes and it's nice to be able to see what the product looks like on someone else I just don't I they take a lot of time to do they they enable my shopping problem if, if I didn't have a shopping problem or maybe like if I was getting these items for free or something like if my channel was big enough I was getting the items for free that'd be fine but I'm not I'm paying out of pocket for these things and I don't like realistically I don't have the kind of money to be doing that I I'm not going to sit here and, and I just, I don't want to promote that. I don't want, I would rather be able to have real conversations with you guys. There's a lot of stuff that I've gone through over the years, owning a Lolita business that I think is far more interesting to talk about. There's a lot of really cool stories behind these dresses that I designed. Um, I'd love to be able to give you guys like more logistics about that kind of stuff and just give you the real, all, like raw, honest truth about like what it was like to have that you know I think that's more interesting and more in-depth to have real conversations with you guys about Lolita fashion and just stuff like that in general than just to show you guys my latest shirt I bought you know because they're just they're in a way they're just they're easy too it's like I say they're hard only because like I gotta show each item sometimes like you know if you do if you're doing a really in-depth haul video you try that item on and then you you know you gotta turn the camera off put the item on turn the camera back on and just film you in each outfit and that, that just takes a lot of work that part takes a lot of work but but having but the content itself is really just there's not much to it you know so for fast fashion i'm not going to be doing it stuff like the dolls kill roller skates i think that was great <laughs> i don't think there was a problem with that that's like a weird like one-off specialty thing and it was not an impulse buy i i needed the skates my old skates basically were falling apart and it was not a fast fashion thing that those skates were expensive and since i had a good reason for it that's a difference you know i, I already was going to be buying it anyway it's cool to do a haul video on it or just to do a video about it but when i find myself uh using the fact that i could do a haul video as an excuse to shop i'm not i can't do that anymore especially with like lolita fashion too uh this dress actually was one i got recently that i was going to do a, a video haul sort of thing where I showed off each one. Now review videos are different too. I don't mind doing a review on things that I get, but but I'm not going to be doing haul videos is what I mean. Which by the way, this dress is, is wonderful and gorgeous and I and I if you guys want to see a review on it, I will definitely do it. It is probably one of the best dresses I have ever purchased. It was not cheap either. So uh, once again, it's not really in the category of fast fashion. When I say fast fashion, it means stuff like Romwe, Shein, and AliExpress. I like those places a lot. They are affordable, but they're not really affordable when I find myself buying loads upon loads of things just with the excuse to be able to do a haul video. So yeah, so those areas I'm just kind of steering clear of. I'll still do like Lolita dress review videos. 
I'll still do um, review videos of like one-off things that I get, like whether it's like the doll skill roller skates. I think that's fine. But yeah, I just um, it's it's not what I stand for to do to do fast fashion videos really. And and it's sort of my 2020 uh, goal is to really cut down on the shopping. I've already I've already taken a really good head start. If you guys want my personal what I do, I downloaded this thing on my on my browser. It's called Cold Turkey. And I use it to basically help mitigate the need or the want to look at the new products. I also unsubscribe from anything that's going to tempt me with the new releases. If you really, if you, if you have this issue with shopping, the shopping addiction issue with Lolita fashion, it can go, it can be a problem real fast because Lolita is still, I mean, it's cheaper than it was, but it still can get expensive. So if you got that issue, I also recommend unsubscribing from Lolita Updates, or at least just unfollow. You can still be part of the group, just unfollow Lolita Updates, especially Chinese Lolita Updates. They post a lot more than just like regular Lolita Updates, and that stuff is like, it's like almost daily, and this stuff is beautiful, and it's like, I want to buy it all, you know? So, yeah, uh, I'll put links to these things down below where you can get these things. Um, maybe we'll do a video on shopping addiction and just talking about it, talking about my struggle with it and um what i've been doing about it and if it's something you guys want to talk about i can talk specifically about like lolita with shopping addiction or i can just talk about general shopping addiction maybe i'll do a general one i don't know yeah this video is just kind of short today it's just just letting you guys know from this point forward i'm not really going to be doing that anymore i just don't feel good about it <laughs> i'd rather give you guys more meaningful content so yeah i just don't feel good about it so um so, thank you guys again for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.